Hey everybody, I thought we'd start off in the Harley shop today because it's a warmer here than it is out in the main shop. But uh, look what I got. <laughs> I have been sent this tool. It's from Altel. It's called the AL319. It is a scanner with some nice options. And it does come recommended by one of the top techs in this community. Hi right, guys, we're hooked up to my wife's 2005 Dodge Magnum. It's got 135,608 miles. Not that that matters, but you have four functions here on the Altel. Um, first one, and most of what you'll use as a do-it-yourselfer, is you just want to read codes, right? Um, so you go to the highlighted, or you set it up by using the scroll button to highlight the OBD2 area, and then... Uh, the reason this is on without the key being on is because you have that data link connector, right? There's 16 pins. Pin 16 is always battery hot, so that's where it's getting the power from. And you just simply hit enter. It's going to start reading some uh, data. All right, in my car, no codes are found. I don't need to erase codes because there isn't any. So I'm going to grow, scroll down to live data. I don't expect to find any live data because <clears throat> this car is not broke. What you saw very quickly there, screen going through the screen, there was, uh, you might have saw what they call PIDs, and those are parameter identifications. And again, it's a protocol, a standard communication for this tool to be able to look at things in the computer. Um, so what I want to look at this point is complete data set, or we could change the units of measure, which I've already changed or made English, so we can understand it here in the States. In this case, we have zero diagnostic trouble codes. I think that means counter, so it means zero. Warm-ups, I'm not even sure what that means, 18. And since we've cleared any codes, it was 1,181 miles ago, and this V power, in volts is battery voltage, which is 9, uh, sorry, 11.9. All right, that's all that means. Um, if there were trouble codes, there would be, you know, different numbers here. Let's see if I can get out of here. All right, so freeze frame data, and this is where this tool kind of shines, both in the lab data and the freeze frame data you don't have this on um, other inexpensive versions of a reader like this one <clears throat> for instance the other code reader I have from Napa was $55 and it doesn't have this kind of options no free stream data and this comes from the computer if there was a problem if I had a check engine light come on this would capture that and you could read the moment the fault was tripped um, anything out of parameters then you would be able to, to see it here. In the I am readiness, again, enter. My check engine light is off. And a lot of, of things I've noticed on this car is NA. And that is not a limitation of the tool, but limitation of this old car. What that's saying is that these monitors are not being, or these components, these devices are not being monitored uh, because an 05 Dodge didn't require it at the time. Um, but it does say that my uh, check engine light is off, and I'll put down below what MIL stands for. I can't remember, but I'll put that, I'll put that down here. <laughs> uh, Miss counters, uh, fuel, I'm not... I'm not sure what CCM means. Again, I'll put this down below if I can find out. So we've checked everything we can check on this car. So I'm going to get out of it by pushing enter. And uh, next thing we can scroll over to is this readiness test. The ready test function is not something I really need here in the state of Tennessee. But again, in the Tennessee, it depends on the county you're in. But say you live in California or Pennsylvania, New York, you need to get your car inspected. This readiness test is going to give you an indication of the emission control monitors and if your car is ready for inspection. 
so I'm going to hit enter and in my case green arrow means everything should be able to pass I'll show you one thing that was interesting about this tool and that it gives you an option to set up some monitors so if I can get out of here here's an option that um, I'm not really sure why anybody would need to use this but what has scrolled now what has highlighted is it's called allowed INC monitors and I have to tell you the truth I thought INC was a technical term but it's nothing more than incomplete monitors there's two different kinds of monitors there's continuous monitoring and then there's non-continuous and those non-continuous rely on drive cycles uh, some of them are quite extensive my truck for example uh, I had a check engine light come on for a, a, a transmission code and it takes 40 drive cycles for that to reset so if you know that about your car you can say hey look you know what I want to bypass one monitor it's not going to be you know it's not going to be an issue in the in the emissions inspection so I'm going to say yes allow one monitor not to be ready for inspection okay if you don't want to get into all that you just scroll down to reset factory da default hit it and you're on your way all right so I wish I had some more cars to show you uh, uh, not that I want a trouble code on one of my cars but it would be nice to see a code and then investigate that further but you know for 40 bucks I think it's a great tool for a do-it-yourself uh, it's a great tool for a do-it-yourselfer the person that recommended this was Keith at New Love Auto. He's got two in his truck, um, and quite frankly, I think one is, belongs to his son for a learning tool, but uh, it has some options that he likes, and that goes back to the, uh, the live data and the free stream data that this tool offers. Other people who have um, reviewed the tool are professional shots, and they have said they've used it to go to the parking lot, for instance, and to diagnose or verify the customer complaint. So it is a useful tool, and I think because of the cost, it's something we can all, you know, afford. All right, guys, thanks for coming by the shop again. I appreciate your views. I, I uh, look forward to your comments. It's always fun to see who's been hanging around. And um, I'll see you in the next video.